I'm Mel Sanders. And I'm Connor McClendon. And this is Tell It Like It Is. Where all things controversial are covered. AP exams are almost over, and the last SAT date before summer vacation is June 3rd. Connor and I are teaming up this week to reflect on the mothership of standardized tests, the College Board. A lot of students question the methods of College Board and their intentions with promoting education. We're here to investigate some of those claims and get a broader understanding of the testing culture in our country. Here are some facts about the College Board and standardized testing. A lot of the frustration around AP exams is misdirected towards the College Board, when instead it should be directed to the general AP policy in our school. We had a chance to sit down with Heather Berlin to hear more about this issue. So my name is Heather Berlin. I teach ELL here, so English for Immigrants, but I also am, as of this year, the AP exam coordinator. I'm not sure how this policy came to be at Northampton High School. Um, I think it's a much bigger issue than I realized and then that even students realize in general because um, it has to do with lots of policies, but also it has to do with the culture of the school and um, prestige and, and, and um, also just historical precedent. Another concern about AP exams and SATs is the price of taking the exam itself. AP exams are currently $95 each, which racks up an expensive total if you are taking multiple exams. Also, this year, our school ran out of money to give financial aid to individuals in need for AP exams. Students and teachers take issue with the price of these exams, especially because the College Board regards itself as a nonprofit. However, the total expenditures are much less than the total revenue brought in, and the CEO makes a rather large chunk of change every year. So I think the College Board is pretty po problematic in a lot of ways. Um, they kind of have a monopoly on a lot of stuff, um, SAT testing, AP exams, the CSS profile, um, and overall they kind of manipulate the college system in this country uh, to really benefit monetarily from it. What do you all think about the College Board and our own AP exam policies? Are they appropriate for a public high school, or should they be changed down the road? Again, I'm Nell Sanders. And I'm Connor McClendon, and, and this, this was, was Tell It Like It, it Is. is.